Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're gonna to be doing my everyday makeup basket for March of 2021. So I actually just picked up a, quite a few new drugstore makeup products that I kinda wanna bring in, and I'm excited to switch up some things, so let's just jump right in, starting up here on the top. Okay, so we cleaned out a little bit. Um, the cuticle oil that used to be up here, I did move to my work desk just because I'm sitting there most of the time and I wanna use that time to moisturize my cuticle, so I moved it over there. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, and I have to say, so far, not a fan. It's actually pretty drying, which is really surprising. Um, so, anyway, uh, that's gonna stay up here. Um, if I get, like, halfway down and I still don't like it, I'll probably just declutter it, to be honest. Um, I just picked this up today. This is the Elf Camo CC Cream. I'm so excited to finally try this out. So once we get down to the drawer number one, I want to move this in. Let's see. Over here... Um, I've got a new eyelash curler coming hopefully soon, so I'm going to leave that there until we get the new one. Um, the Control Freak Brow Gel. I honestly cannot remember how long I've had this one in, so I think this should be an empty and I should bring in a new one. I do have a backup in my collection, so I'll do that. NYX Glitter Glue is almost empty. I need to place an order for another one, but that's good for now. Let's, let's keep the NYX eyeliner in here, and I'll move the Marc Jacobs one out. Let's see, Oops, drop that. I'm gonna move the, the butter gloss back out. I didn't really use Fred. Let me keep this in here, because I didn't really get to use Fred. I did use these stains. So I'll move those back out into my regular collection. Um, I didn't even open this one yet. This is a new black lipstick. If you guys have any black lipstick recommendations that I have not already included in my three volumes of the best and worst black lipsticks, let me know down below, because I am gonna start keeping my eye out. I don't know if I'm going to do like a more thorough research and just get like a bunch of them ready for this Halloween. I just dropped the lid. Or if I'm going to do another video like in spring and then do another one for Halloween. Who knows? I think this Essence Lash Princess is at the three month mark. So I'm going to make that an empty. And I just opened up this mini of the Kush Mascara from Milk. I got this in PR. So I'm going to leave that there. So I think we're good up here on top. Let's go into the first drawer. Okay, so, drawer number one, the Cody Airspun powder is almost done. I actually just picked up another drugstore powder today, and then I really want to treat myself. I'm going to place this for order sometime soon and get the Laura Mercier powder, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep the Rimmel Stay Matte in here. Let's see. I'm going to move out the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It foundation. I like this so far, but I've got some other ones I really want to keep testing out. Same with the putty primer. This is, it's a, a unique putty primer in that it's a little bit more oily and not as stiff uh, in texture as the other putty primers I've tried. Um, but let me know if you want to see a video comparing this to the other kind of affordable putty primers. The, um, let me see. Which one is it? Makeup Revolution has one, Elf has one, and then I think I still have a mini of the um, Tatcha one if you want to see a full video comparing those. Let's move out this BB cream that I've been using as a primer because there are some new primers I want to move in. I'm going to keep the Milk Makeup. I'm going to keep the Milk Hydro Grip Primer as well. Let's move out these Tarte concealers and keep the Pat McGrath and the Dermacol, and then we're gonna move in the Camo CC Cream. Okay, drawer number two. Oof, there's a lot of stuff I wanna move out. Let's take out these lashes. I got the Sephora and then the AOA Studio ones. I'm gonna move out the Physician's Formula Matte Butter Bronzer. Same with these blushes. We've got the Cream Blush from Fenty, and then the Loose Blush from um, Pro and Pebble, the indie brand out of the UK. I'm gonna move out the lash glue as well. I'm gonna keep my Lila palette in here, of course. I actually just purchased a brand new um, color tattoo because, uh, how pretty is that? Brand new, because I am about to finish this one. Look at that, just about done. So I'm gonna keep both of these in here. I'm gonna move out the Cover FX blush, the Hourglass face palette and the Wet n Wild highlighting palette. For this palette, I'm gonna keep the Crystal Zodiac because I really do wanna film with it. I think I'm actually at the point where I can, so I'm gonna put that at the top of my everyday makeup basket. And then the Sephora Pro Cool Palette, I'm gonna just move this back into my eyeshadow palette bookshelf. And the only thing I have down here is the Nightingale palette, which I have to admit, I've been focusing so much on my pan that palette and on the other palettes, I haven't even touched this yet. So I'm gonna move this up here so that hopefully I'll touch it. <laughs> 
Okay, so let me put this makeup back where it belongs and then we'll be back to shop my stash. Okay, so over here in the acrylic, so let's see. This is just tape for swatches, lip liner. I don't think I need any lip liner. Uh, liquid shadows, I just tend to pull these now whenever I need one, so I'll leave them there. Um, lashes, I'm actually gonna pull in the Glamnetic lashes that I got in PR, so we're gonna leave these for now. I'm gonna have to, I just ordered some new lashes too, so we're gonna have to reorganize the lash drawer. <laughs> Okay, so that's nail stuff. Eyeliner. All right, let me dump this out and pick some eyeliners. All right, so I decided to pick up some NYX eyeliners. This one is the Epic Wear Liner in Green that I love. Um, and then I got two of the Jumbo Eye Pencils. So I have Black Bean and then Milk. Uh, that's empty. These are lip glosses. I already pulled a lip gloss last time, so I think we're gonna go for some lipsticks. Do I want a black lips? Well, I got a black lipstick up there, so let's leave those nail polishes we don't have to go into single shadows do I want to pull a single shadow hmm let's bring in this ColourPop super shock shadow it's actually almost done I'd be nice if I could like pan that you know and I think we are good okay red lipstick hmm let's pull this wet and wild one Green lipsticks. I need to buy some more for the next video, so let's leave those. Nudes. Do I want to get a nude lipstick? Hmm. I have not been wearing bullet lipsticks. I should pull some bullet lipsticks. I pulled these two. This is the MAC Bullet Lipstick in Flesh Pot, which is a very light nude shade. And then this Urban Decay Lipstick in Fuel. I think that's plenty of lipstick so let's go ahead and get into the alex drawers all right so in drawer number one i want to pull out some new primers that i just picked up these are from milani and these are their new primers i got the skin quench hydrating primer and then the chill out soothing primer so let's bring those two in i'm good on setting sprays for now let's go ahead and pick a concealer let's see let's see I'm gonna pull out this concealer from Shop Miss A, the AOA Studio, and this is in the shade Fair Ivory. Um, so we've got, do I wanna pull, let's pull an under eye corrector actually while we're in here. I'll get the Charlotte Tilbury one. I feel like I haven't used it in a bit. So just a salmon under eye color corrector. All right. All right, drawer number two, we've got foundation. So I got the Camo CC Cream. I got the Milk Makeup one. Do I want to pull another one? I actually found this new um, hydrating skin tint from Milani, which is pretty exciting. Do I want to use this? Well, I've got two new ones I'm using right now. Let's bring in a uh, an oldie but a goodie. Huh. Should we get a little bougie? Maybe bring in the Pat McGrath? Yeah, let's bring in the Pat McGrath. We're good on powder right now. Um, <laughs> I think we're okay here. Actually, I lied. I want to bring in this, the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I need to get more use out of this. Is that not a cool picture? All right, blushes and highlights. So I unfortunately heard the news, Becca. Becca is closing down. Some of my favorite highlights, my number one favorite highlight of all time is from Becca. So let's pull out two Becca highlights. I've got the Royal Glow Highlighter, which I might have gone a little crazy that I buy two more of these off of uh, Mercari. Yeah, yeah, I did. So I want to bring out the Royal Glow. And then this is in the shade Moonstone. So yeah, we'll, we'll highlight for Becca this month. <laughs> And blush. Hmm, do I want to bring in a different blush? <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling for blush this month. Hmm. Maybe we'll go with Milani. We'll do Luminoso. A little, little oldie but a little goodie. <laughs> Alright, now for face palettes. I really only need something for contour because we did pull in highlighter and blush. And I have the bronzer. Yeah, so we really only need a contour. Should I just pull out a single contour instead? Maybe I should. Because if we go back to this drawer, I think I've got something I can use as a single contour. 
Let's do this Burberry instead then, because this is a single, technically it's an earthy blush, but I can use this as a contour. That way we've got singles for everything this month. And we will just pass on the face palette for this month. Then I'll come back and I'll pick face palettes for next month. All right, welcome to the eyeshadow palette bookshelf. I have two new additions here, these Wet n Wild palettes I finally found at a local CVS. I don't wanna pull them out like right away though. I kinda wanna go through and pick out some older palettes. I've actually really been wanting to use an ABH palette. And I think, should I pull out Norvina? Let's pull out the Norvina because I think that would work pretty well if I'm gonna knock everything over but i think this will work really well with my pan that palette okay so here is my norvina palette i really haven't been giving it a whole lot of love recently so i think the purples and the pinks and these shades will work really well with my lila palette let's see what else do i really want to pull out you know what i'm feeling drawn towards either the urban decay naked 2 or one of my two face palettes let's bring up let's bring both of those So I really want to bring out the Naked 2. I don't know why I'm feeling a bit nostalgic and I kind of want to use this. Can't believe I still have the brush in here after everything. So here, I feel like, honestly, I probably could have chose this to also pan. This would be an interesting palette to pan. But I don't know, I feel like these, like the silvers especially, I could work well with my pan that palette, but I really just want to play with this palette, you know? So let me bring this one in. And I also want to bring in this Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Ooh, it's a little dirty. <laughs> But um, again, cool tone shades, pinks, purples, I think would work well. Um, but again, this is a palette that like I really wanted for a long time, finally found it at Marshalls, and now I really touch, I rarely touch it. So I should bring this out. All right, so that's everything for shopping my stash. Let me put all these back into my everyday makeup basket and we'll be back for the final reveal. Okay, so here we are back at the basket. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I'm putting the Crystal Zodiac palette up here on the top so I can keep it up here for filming the three looks. I think I'm going to do three looks for the one palette. I've got the lipsticks back here behind the glitter glue. I've got the eyeliners, a couple more lipsticks over here. We've got the new NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. We've got our mascara and my chapstick that I use literally daily. Up here in drawer number one, we have all of the new primers, the foundations, the color corrector, and then our powders. Down here in drawer number two, we have the Glamnetic Lashes and the liner for those that I got in PR. We've got the Milani Baked Blush. We've got the Burberry, I'm calling it a contour, I'm going to keep calling it a contour. Our Becca Blushes, the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. My Pen That Palette, my brow products, and then the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. These fit so perfectly, it's kind of crazy. So I've got the Naked 2, the Chocolate Bonbons, Norvina, and the Nightingale palette. And then actually, there's nothing down here <laughs> other than my electronics over here. So thank you guys so much for watching this makeup basket. Let me know down below what you're going to be using in March. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.